Four years, just like he wanted, $160 million, what was it, uh, 120 guaranteed, 120 of it guaranteed. Dak Prescott got his deal. Finally, Jerry Jones did something right for a change for a while now, okay? Now I can stop talking about him so much, or even looking at his ass. As soon as the game's over, with a loss, I can just turn the channel, okay, and just not listen to him at all. I really don't listen to him anyway. But uh, the thing is that Dak Prescott told you he would get his deal. And it feels that if they didn't get his deal, they want to franchise him. That would have made me upset, but at least I would have had my quarterback. That's my quarterback, people. That's my quarterback. Oh, oh, what's D's knees at? Was D was D's knees? Was his name D's knees 01? Where are all them haters at now? Oh, he wants to go get it. He's not worth the money. Dak Prescott is the most valuable player on that team. The most valuable player, one of the most valuable players in the NFL. Okay? You look at his stats and you look at his wins, you look at the way he managed, the man carries himself, you look at the way he plays. He plays to win. He don't play to quit. He never quits. That's the one thing I saw in the beginning of this kid. He never quits. Even when he broke his ankle, he's trying to fix it. He got his ankle broke. He didn't break it, but the damn Giants player did. He tried to fix it so he can get back on the field. He realized, damn, this shit won't straighten up. He started crying. <laughs> but... We all cry, I cried that day. I ain't gonna lie, my tears shed a little bit with my, with my quarterback. I'm a grown man, so what? So anyway, so they put, rolled him off the field. We knew we were gonna see him, see him later because he's a fighter. He don't quit. He's better than ever. No matter what, he's better than ever. Okay, he's a man who's got a dang on football field on his damn uh, on his damn property. So he can throw the ball. <laughs> Who does that? Anyway, that Prescott is back. He's, he's a cowboy. He's a cowboy for life. Just like I am. Okay? Everybody out there, I love y'all. I'm sorry I didn't do videos. I told you why I didn't. I wasn't going to do them. Because I'm not going to sit here and listen to Jerry Jones and talk, or anybody talk about Jerry Jones every damn day. I can't stand the man. I'm sorry. I do. I cannot stand him. Y'all know that already. Y'all know the history of me. Can't stand him. Right? So, why was I going to talk about him knowing the fact that my, my quarterback may be subject to going somebody else's other team? I couldn't be able to deal with that. And then if that happened, then I have to wait till the old man had died so that it's normal sequence is going to be restored in, in Dallas. Okay? So anyway, some some real normalcy, normalcy is restored now that Tech Prescott got his deal. Now we have to wait for the other hammer to drop, and that's Jerry Jones just backing off and just giving the GM role to someone else. That's the, that's the only, that's the next key. That's him to re let that old man retire and get his ass out of here. But you see, he saw, he's, his name is such a, a marketable thing that he has to stay there. Because he's the Cowboys, he's a, he's a, he's a franchise ownership, but he ain't the Cowboys. Because if he was the Cowboys, they would be winning. So, anyway, I'm glad to hear from y'all. I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad that I didn't do it, but I, I couldn't take it anymore. Y'all, please have to forgive me. I could not take it anymore. Okay, everybody's talking about it every day. That person ain't get a contract. Oh, oh, that person don't deserve a contract. That person needs a contract. That person should never get a contract. This and that. How much money you gonna give him? And I never see any player in the NFL history in my life ever talked about this this much. That tells you right there this kid is good. Because why would you worry about what's going in his pockets and when everybody else sucks around him? And who got a lot of money? Who got their money? I, I, didn't, I couldn't understand that. Why would you, no one's talking about golf. He, he stole his money. No one's talking about Garoppolo. He stole his money. No one's talking about goddamn, goddamn wins. We told you he was a shit for years. He damn sure got his money a couple of years ago. And his contract started this coming this season. His contract starts this season, I believe. That's the fifth game, exactly. He starts this season coming up. So, so I, I don't get it. So, but Dak Prescott, or going all the way from football folks, telling you, does he deserve Carson Wentz? I'm sorry, does he deserve Carson Wentz's money? Remember that? We, I talked about that. So he does deserve Carson Wentz's money. He deserves more than Carson Wentz's money. Okay. Dak's primary thing he wanted was four years, not five. Or in six, he wanted four years. Okay, he wanted to share and to renew in, in the, uh, the renewal of the next four years into the profits that comes back into the NFL 
for the NFL. It's going to be blasting. It's going to be explosive. Okay, with the other, 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 all the other deals from the, with the uh, casinos and and um, uh, streaming from you Hulu and all other places, he wants to be a part of that, and that's that, that's what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So they can't stop that. So he he don't want to be black, locked out of it. He wanted to be in it. The man's smart. His 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 counsel is smart. So hell with Jerry Jones. He wanted to keep him out of the loop. Okay, I guarantee you, my boy Tony Romo, who I love, always love. If he was there, he would say, "Listen, Tony." I'm going to give you four years this time, and I'm going to give you three years next year, and next time, and then, you know, that way you can always get all the money you want. <laughs> but Dak Prescott, I don't know about that, buddy. I need you to give me six years, no, four. Six years, four, no. Six years, no, four. Okay, five years, nope, four. And that's where, that's where we was at. Five years, Dak, come on, four. The money was already settled. That's, you heard the number 160 million? That was that was like several years ago, remember? Okay, the money was already settled. It's the, it's the damn terms of the agreement in which they were fighting about. Okay, four years. I told my cousin that, who's a big Cowboy fan. He was responsible for me and my brother being a Cowboy fan. Okay, he, he argued, Dak Prescott might not be worth that money. I said, man, come on, man. Come on, give me a break. He is worth the money. In fact, he wants only 160 million dollars. He wants only four years. Four years. That's all. He didn't believe me. Now he's going to believe because I'm calling him up as soon as I get to finish this uh, video. Okay? And let him know. I told you, boy. I told you. Anyway, I'm glad, I'm glad to be on, you know, making this video. I'll be making more videos very soon, okay? Now, because now the draft is coming up. Hey, March Madness is coming around the corner, too, man. I got to start watching that. I'm going to start watching my boys, my, uh, my teams, uh, the Hoyas. And, and the other. I'm, I'm, a big, I'm a big Big East fan. Huge Big East fan, okay? Because I used to work. At Seton Hall University many years ago as a as a, as a, a computer operator there a senior operator and then and I just the, the time was exciting when Seton Hall was involved and and um, of course we saw the the Hoyas play and with the, on our teams on on, in our, on our campus all those things so um, so uh, so I'm always been a Big East fan okay Big East because I was oh, cause like I said I worked for the Big East I like that I worked for the Big East <laughs> anyway everybody chill. We, we, we relax like, who's I'm okay now. I don't have to hurt nobody now. Who's Jerry? Who's Steven? Who's Defense? Get your ass together and stop letting the man who errors. 32 points a game to be stranded out there that they did in the game against the Seattle, which Dak Prescott got blamed for, in which he was down there fucking 10, 10, 17 points, brought them back in the fourth quarter to go ahead with minutes to go in the game, and all of a sudden turned around, and the defense once again just, just bent over and spread their ass cheeks, okay, to Russell Wilson. And, it didn't, and we let him go back and score again. And they say, well, Dak Prescott, that's his fault because he couldn't go back down the field and score again. If you're going to beat, going to win him, you got to beat Russell Wilson. Well, he did beat Russell Wilson. It was the defense that lost to him. Okay? Bullshit to that. Fuck, how would, how would Skip Bills, I don't even watch him no more. And I, and I actually like Kurt Sharp. Okay? But he, he could be an ass too. But even he knows that it's unfair to not give Dak his money. But Skip Bellis, he can kiss my patootie. Okay? I used to like him because he's supposed to be a Cowboy fan. But he's not really a Cowboy fan. He's a showman. And he can, I, I don't hell with him. And everybody else for that matter. So, Everybody who hates those, all those haters, including so-called Cowboy fans, can kiss all opportunities. My quarterback is with us.